Luke chapter 8 verses 1 to 56 And it came to pass afterward, that he went throughout every city and village, preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God, and the twelve were with him. And certain women, who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom went seven demons. And Joanna the wife of Cusa Herod's steward, and Susanna, and many others, who ministered to him of their substance. And when many people were collected, and had come to him out of every city, he spoke by a parable. A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it. And some fell upon a rock, and as soon as it was sprung up, it withered, because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it, and choked it. And other fell on good ground, and sprang up, and bore fruit a hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. And his disciples asked him, saying, What doth this parable mean? And he said, To you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to others in parables, that seeing they may not see, and hearing they may not understand. Now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside, are they that hear, then cometh the devil, and taketh away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. They on the rock are they, who, when they hear, receive the word with joy, and these have no root, who for a while believe, and in time of temptation fall away. And that which fell among thorns are they, who, when they have heard, go forth, and are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life, and bring no fruit to perfection. But that on the good ground are they, who in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it, and bring forth fruit with patience. No man, when he hath lighted a candle, covereth it with a vessel, or putteth it under a bed, but setteth it on a candlestick, that they who enter in may see the light. For nothing is secret, that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid, that shall not be known, and come abroad. Take heed therefore how ye hear, for whoever hath, to him shall be given, and whoever hath not, from him shall be taken even that which he seemeth to have. Then came to him his mother and his brethren, and could not come near to him for the crowd. And it was told to him by certain, who said, Thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to see thee. And he answered and said to them, My mother and my brethren are these who hear the word of God, and do it. Now it came to pass on a certain day, that he went into a boat with his disciples, and he said to them, Let us go over to the other side of the lake. And they launched forth. But as they sailed, he fell asleep, and there came down a storm of wind on the lake, and they were filled with water, and were in jeopardy. And they came to him, and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose, and rebuked the wind, and the raging of the water, and they ceased, and there was a calm. And he said to them, Where is your faith? And they being afraid, wondered, saying one to another, What manner of man is this? For he commandeth even the winds and water, and they obey him. And they arrived at the country of the Gadarenes, which is over against Galilee. And when he went forth to land, there met him out of the city a certain man, who had demons a long time, and wore no clothes, neither abode in any house, but in the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he cried out, and fell down before him, and with a loud voice said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God Most High? I beseech thee torment me not. For he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For often it had caught him, and he was kept bound with chains, and in fetters, and he broke the bands, and was driven by the demon into the wilderness. And Jesus asked him, saying, What is thy name? And he said, Legion, because many demons had entered into him. And they besought him, that he would not command them to go out into the deep. And there was there a herd of many swine feeding on the mountain, and they besought him that he would suffer them to enter into them. And he suffered them. 
Then the demons went out of the man, and entered into the swine, and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the lake, and were choked. When they that fed them saw what was done, they fled, and went and told it in the city and in the country. Then they went out to see what was done, and came to Jesus, and found the man out of whom the demons had departed, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed, and in his right mind, and they were afraid. They also who saw it, told them by what means he that was possessed by the demons was healed. Then the whole multitude of the surrounding country of the Gadarenes, besought him to depart from them, for they were taken with great fear. And he went into the boat, and returned. Now the man out of whom the demons had departed, besought him that he might be with him. But Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to thy own house, and show how great things God hath done to thee. And he went away and published throughout the whole city, how great things Jesus had done to him. And it came to pass, that, when Jesus had returned, the people gladly received him, for they were all waiting for him. And behold, there came a man named Jerus, and he was a ruler of the synagogue, and he fell down at the feet of Jesus, and besought him that he would come into his house. For he had one daughter only, about twelve years of age, and she lay dying. But as he was going, the people thronged him. And a woman having an issue of blood twelve years, who had spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed by any, came behind him, and touched the border of his garment, and immediately her issue of blood stanched. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied, Peter, and they that were with him, said, Master, the multitude throng thee, and press thee, and sayest thou, Who touched me? And Jesus said, Somebody hath touched me, for I perceive that virtue hath gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling, and falling down before him, she declared to him before all the people for what cause she had touched him, and how she was healed immediately. And he said to her, Daughter, be of good comfort, thy faith hath made thee whole, go in peace. While he was yet speaking, there cometh one from the house of the ruler of the synagogue, saying to him, Thy daughter is dead, trouble not the master. But when Jesus heard it, he answered him, saying, Fear not, believe only, and she shall be healed. And when he came into the house, he suffered no man to go in, save Peter, and James, and John, and the father and the mother of the maiden. And all wept and bewailed her, but he said, Weep not, she is not dead, but sleepeth. And they derided him, knowing that she was dead. And he put them all out, and took her by the hand, and called, saying, Maid, arise. And her spirit came again, and she arose immediately, and he commanded to give her food. And her parents were astonished, but he charged them that they should tell no man what was done. Thanks for watching and listening. If you like what we are doing please like subscribe and share this video with others. May our Lord watch over guide and protect you and everyone where you are located.